What's up guys, I'm Chris Forsberg and behind me is my 1972, actually it's my wife's 1972 Datsun 510 wagon. Today we're doing a bit of chassis restoration. A 45 year old car is bound to have some rust and if we're gonna be going through an extensive build like this, we're not gonna wanna start with a chassis that has a bunch of holes in it. Cutting out all the rust that we could find in the front half of this 1972 Datsun. It's no fun task and it's no easy task either. I even had to get creative and make a little three dimensional pie piece to fill in from the floor to the firewall to the trans tunnel. It's just a nice little piece that will be covered with carpet, never to be seen again. We finish off the interior by gluing in the floor pans, making sure no water gets in there. And then we add a layer of Dynamat since we had to take all that stock sound deadening up so we don't want it to be too much of a tin can inside the car when we're driving around on the street. Neat little trick, you grab a piece of copper so that the steel that we're basically adding at the welder doesn't stick to it, so you can fill big holes. You just kind of build up the weld around it, and then you take the little sander afterwards, smooth it out, plug in holes. We went into the engine bay and we finished filling in all the holes in the firewall in that center plate where we had a little bit of rust. That's all smoothed out and polished up and ready for paint as well. Now even though this radiator bolts into this car, we still had to modify it a bit because this is a custom engine swap. Anytime you're gonna be drilling on these things, metal bits can get in there and mess up your water pump. You always wanna wash it out thoroughly. And Dylan actually whipped up this awesome little piece for the radiator where he added a Dash 16 AM weld bung. And now we get to use XRP race style crimp hoses. And lastly, we're making our fresh stainless steel brake lines. We're rerouting them so they're nice and clear of all the things in the engine bay and they look a lot nicer than the factory ones. And we'll take those all back out before we go to paint and then reinstall after it comes back. Mm -hmm. 